I uh, just gave myself a haircut, but enough about me. 32-bit float is the goat. Today I have a magical device that we just have to talk about. Uh, it's the Zoom F2, 32-bit float. Don't need to worry about levels, don't need to worry about clipping. If it's too quiet, you can bring up the levels very easily and have it still sound good. If it's too loud, you can bring down the levels and have it still sound good. If they scream into it as loud as they can, maybe uh, that might be unrecoverable, but... This camera just died. I originally wanted to get the Tentacle Track E so that I could have time code, but it was unavailable and I needed it quick, so I got some F2s. I'm wearing an F2 right now, and the audio in this whole video will be only from this mic. All you need is this. The fact that you can record to its own self, no transmitting to another device, is a nerve-wracking blessing, but in my scenario, everything sounded absolutely amazing, and I would recommend this to anybody that will ever be shooting video and recording audio on their own. This thing is tiny and unbelievable. We used this mic that came with it, and I used this little thing, and I gaff taped the clip to the mic because I noticed that a couple times it had become detached. This clip rotates, which is nice. This is a real ketchup packet. Uh, it's this very similar size to that. Also an NPF battery. This thing is extremely easy to use. There are no levels. Turn it on and wait a couple seconds till this stops blinking and then you can let it roll. You do need like a good amount of pressure to switch it. There's this hold switch. So when I use this, I hit record and then put it to hold and let it go. This is your output volume, which is just for your headphones if you wanna take a listen. You can listen live or you can listen to your last clip by just pressing play. And then to get back to recording mode, you just hit stop. And then you have your mic input here and your headphone out here and this does not charge the device, it just lets you move the audio from this to the computer, but I would recommend just taking out the micro SD and using a card reader because moving this through the USB for some odd reason is like disgustingly slow. This thing was like $189. There's a Bluetooth version and a not Bluetooth version, and this is the not Bluetooth version. Looking back on it, I kind of wish I got the Bluetooth so I could just check on the on my phone every once in a while that it was still rolling, but I actually kind of didn't want to have that ability during the shoot. I just wanted to send it. It worked out. I was walking around the streets of New York City with honking horns and people, and to be able to do that without a sound mixer and let the F2 roll all day long, no battery changes, no cutting. If you're operating a camera, you cannot be messing around with audio levels. Camera had time code going into it with a, tr a tentacle sync. So I just rolled on this, then rolled on the camera, and then counted out the time code from the camera uh, into the mic. So then I could just create a timeline with the camera clips spaced out by time code and then the one audio file per day below that and just sync up the front and then everything is good to go down the end of the line. If you're in a situation where people are just talking, even if they yell or there's loud noises going on outside, you won't clip this or the mic that is included in it. I noticed that even when things were very quiet, when I brought the levels up, it seemed different than when I brought levels up with non 32-bit float audio. It's kind of like the noise floor, if, if it's even called that, kind of stays where it is. So there were multiple times when somebody was mic'd and somebody they were talking to is not mic'd, but you can still bring up the person that was talking that wasn't mic'd. It kind of has improved my ability even to just do YouTube videos. I used to put a mic on the stand that's right here. It was like camera shotgun mic, but I would also gaff tape it to this thing and sounded really good. And a, like a lot of people messaged me and asked me what mic I was using, which I was surprised that a $200 mic could have people th like liking the sound. But I don't mind so much, at least at this point, what the sound sounds like when I'm shooting YouTube videos, as long as it's better than the internal mic on the camera or my voice memos on my iPhone, which I used to do. No worry about the battery dying, no worry about the levels, and record all day. So 
I think that'll do it on 32-bit float. I miss making videos on YouTube and it's been like a month. I have a lot more planned and stay tuned. Peace.